Support Wrestle Talk. Give us a subscribe. It's SummerSlam 2018 predictions time. I'm Ollie Davis. This is Luke Owen, and we're joined for our first ever three man wrestle ramble. It's an attempt that's hopefully going to pay off. Maybe. <laughs> El Fagador, Laurie Blake. Hey! hey! I'm sure Honor. I'll graduate to getting a, a headset at some point. No, no, no. <laughs> no. You have to, you no, have to no, pay okay. your dues for that. Yeah. Fair. In this situation, we are The Miz and you are Daniel Bryan. In what way? Well, I'm we're, the, the, we're the, the pros. Okay, yes. And you're the NXT rookie, despite having far more experience outside <laughs> of the main company exactly. and other green screen yeah. areas. And as Laurie so eloquently put there, the more popular one. This is this is an awkward <laughs> setup as well, isn't it? Having to really look across. Yep. Three man booths. They never work. Don't never it. work. But anyway, should we, just, should we do some SummerSlam predictions? Because we're in a war with those um, dickheads over at Cultaholic. So we are challenging them to a SummerSlam prediction war where the losing team will have to do a live punishment at Wrestling Media Con from the Bowlers Exhibition Centre in Manchester, in England box. on September 8th and 9th. Tickets are available from the link in the video description below. Is he still, is he yeah. still there? No, it's done now. Okay, right. Luke, into the, the SummerSlam hole. predictions. Oh, yeah. WrestlingMediaCon.com <laughs> Yes. Uh, so, we have 13 matches at the time of recording. Yes, it's always worth noting because they'll add another match on Thursday. The, I mean, are there any other feuds that possibly could be added in? Titus Worldwide oh. versus Authors of Pain. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. now that you mentioned Bobby it. Bobby yeah, Roode is... versus Mojo Rawley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bobby Splashley might get a match. Our truth yeah, the Elias versus Yeah, the Elias segment, yeah. Our truth yeah. Yeah, I think Elias Lashley. Well, um, well Ty Dillinger's injured. Isn't it? That's by the bike. Okay, first match, pre-show, the B team versus the Revival for the Raw Tag Team titles. Most notable thing here, no deleters of Wells. Well, no, this got set up on Monday because the Revival more or less had the match won. They hit the Shadow Machine on Bray to get the win and then uh, Curtis Axel threw out one of the Revival to steal the pin and that got then set up by Kurt Angle later in the night. I feel like this is their first, that's also their first like non-accidental victory almost. Yeah, well. it was actually, actually their first, we didn't do an, we didn't awkwardly fall into a roll up here. <laughs> We've actually done something. They won on purpose. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, that was good ring awareness. <laughs> it was. Uh, so it's always this... as if he's a second generation wrestler <laughs> a former intercontinental yeah. champion I believe he's actually beaten Triple H on pay-per-view at least he faced Triple H on pay-per-view well oh, it's God. still something that could arguably be missed off this show mm -hmm. uh, mm. just by, by how the whole Raw tag division has been booked we're not saying you know ideally we would like tag titles and all the titles to have great storylines going in but that's not the case so we actually have to be really serious and not go with our hearts go with our heads because it's not just the punishment that's on the line now. It's my jacket mm. that I put on the line. I mean, yeah. I mean, hey. I, 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 like, I like the jacket. 50-50 here. <laughs> <laughs> that's over. That's my cash cow. So who are we going to go for? I mean, what, what, where, are you, where are you sitting on this one? Because the B team are like, they are the, the comedy team, but... I feel like they 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 give them new entrance music. They've got their new T-shirts. I feel like they are trying to put some stock behind them. Mm. Do you want to give them this whole new look and then take the belts off of them? Mm. B team, B team, ra ra ra. ra. I just feel like it's not gonna. Yeah, I don't think the title's gonna change hands. I don't think on they the are either. Show. No, like it's not. Yeah, this isn't uh, gonna be like you know. This isn't the revival's moment. This is, I think, another sort of they get screwed out of it. Maybe, in fact, the lead is a world sharp here and sort of cause the interruption, then the B team manages to steal the victory there. So we're going B team, I yeah, think, I think all of us. Yep. Uh, Good capitalisation there. Yeah, right? I annoyingly only spelt half the word team in capitals. B team? Uh, <laughs> Rusev and Lana versus Andrade Cien Almas and Zelina Vega. Mm. Yeah, I, I made Aiden English is the wild card here. Yeah, I mean, mm. I made this joke in the SmackDown review earlier in the week where I was like, this feud has had more build than AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe for the WWE Championship. I'm missing a letter, though. Missing a good letter read at the end. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Dear <laughs> Rusev. Yeah. This is from Lana. Well, Aiden English sung a song, which is almost like a letter. It's like a mm -hmm. sung letter. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's what Shakespeare always says. <laughs> That's his famous quote. Yeah. Um, Sonnets and poems. I think this Rhyming is going acts. to be a, um, a, a Rusev and Lana Day victory, I think, with the help of Aiden English. I think he's going to. Uh, or is it going to be that Aiden English is going to cost them the match? I yeah. think it's got to be. Do... I, it's got to be English costing them the match here. Yeah. I think yeah. the, the build up has yeah, been. You say that. Because this week's one was him trying to make amends in SmackDown. A very like normal match with 
almost being on top most of the mm-hmm. time, winning handily, and then Rusev yeah. comes out and all that stuff. So I just I just feel like this is all part of Almas's push. Rusev, hit- and also Rusev Day will still be over and they set up that feud between Rusev and English potentially. Like, they don't lose the anything yeah you're right. Yeah. The worrying side of this though is that is English then going to side with Almas and Vega and they're going to do a skit on next week's Smackdown with Almas Day Yes. Oh god. Oh, the, yeah. So like we, I think Day. <laughs> Almas and Vega Yeah let's yeah. go with Almas and Vega Okay Heel, heel heavy thus far. They, yeah. mm. Although they're saying that the B team and Revival are both heels. Well, whatever they are. <laughs> Comedy. <laughs> uh, Cedric Alexander, who is the current champion, if you haven't been paying Settles. attention. I haven't. Versus Drew Gulak for the Cruiserweight title. Drew Lack. Drew Lack. Yeah, mm. um, I mean, I, I don't watch enough of 205 Live to know if there's much of a story going into Dude. this. So, You're well, a yeah, so they've sort of changed. <laughs> they've, uh, yeah, well, I was too busy moonsaulting. Uh, but... <laughs> They've changed the sort of setup with Gulak because he was obviously coming out no fly zone, uh, comedy doing, stuff, all, doing all the PowerPoint stuff, and he was great at that. But now he's coming out and being a very serious wrestler, uh, and still not really doing much flying. But he's he's kind of on the up and up, I think. So mm-hmm. it could go either way here. It really depends what they're setting up. I do because I don't know who else they would be setting up to face Cedric down the line. He's already fought Buddy Murphy and won. He's already fought Mustafa Ali a couple of times and won. There's no one else on the card on the rise. In He's beaten Hideo way. Itami as well. Hideo Itami. There's no one else. I think there's no one else on that sort of line to be next. So it could be Gulak. Neville. Yeah, uh, yeah we can hope, can't we? we yeah, can I, mean, I mean, I was going to make the more serious suggestion of Leo Rush. Yeah, I but... think Leo Rucks could be the next, like, yeah, because he's been great so far as well. But yeah, I, think it's, I don't he's think like there's a... anyone else, so it might as well. And be he's through. a brash heel as well. So, and yeah. as soon as you'd want then, like, the the plucky babyface to go in against the brash heel, mm. rather than if it's Gulak, then you've got the babyface challenges ideally against him. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to go for Cedric Alexander here. I don't know because, like, is it the right? Like, I don't know, is it the right time to take the belt off Alexander and put it onto on Gulak? If you remember last year, they actually changed the title the week before SummerSlam <laughs> when Akira Tozawa, that's his name, isn't yep. it? Yeah, mm-hmm. Akira Tozawa, uh, beat Neville. He did. And, and then, then Neville won it back six days later, meaning he can't claim to be the king of the cruiserweights for all that time. Yeah. <laughs> um... I'm gonna let's go for Cedric Alexander. I d- it's okay. kind of daylight between them, isn't it? I don't feel like it feel it doesn't feel like Cedric's moment to drop it. No, no. and it, especially if Leo Rush or if another two uh, another NXT call up is going to go into that two hundred five mm. live position, then or maybe I'll have a new challenger. They're building for a under two hundred five live only pay per view, and then Cedric Alexander will drop it. Can Stephanie McMahon take credit for that one as well? And no, it would need to be a shorter person to invent the idea oh, of small people. Ray Mysterio. Yeah, that, that's the role Ray- he's being uh, been brought in that's for. That's it. He Brilliant. comes back. Flipolution. Yeah. I don't know. Yep. What's it going to be called? Flipolution. Flipolution. That's the best I could do. Uh, Daniel, on the main card now. <laughs> on the main card, which will probably get going around 5 a.m. Yeah, Great. I believe it's a six hour show, not a seven hour show as previously rumoured. Oh, so that's slightly better. Oh, I feel shortchanged. Yeah. You can still I pay £9.99 a month for that. Mm. You can still you watch. You cancel your subscription, sign up again, and you get it free for the first month. So. Yeah. Yeah. Just you can still watch all the time, all, every month. You can still watch all of the original Star Wars trilogy back to back and have time left over before SummerSlam's ended. That is mm. a stat. Yeah. You could just watch Jurassic Park a few times. Or you could watch Jurassic Park. The original Park. Jurassic yeah. Park just a few times. SummerSlam finds a way, though. Daniel Bryan versus The Miz on the main card. This is we're kicking off with a banger here. Mm. What do you yeah. think will be the opening match actually on the main card? Look at um, this. I think they might go with Ziggler and Rollins. Yeah, I think they could. And they certainly, open up. They certainly won't make it the main event again. They're not going to make that mistake. I twice. think they could go. They uh, could go for. They could go for Strowman Owens. Oh yeah. To yeah. have people forget about it by the time uh, six hours later the Brock Lesnar Roman Reigns yeah. match rolls morning. around. Uh. Or if you want a hot start, you go with Balor Corbin. Oh yes. What, that a, what an amazing feud. Screams raw opener, doesn't it? I mean, it's, it's got to be the second match on the card, right? It's, it's, it's going to get seven minutes. Mm. Just, get, just get it out of the way. And just, I'm getting flashbacks to last year's SummerSlam. What was Corbs doing last year? It was John Cena. It was John Cena after mm. he had all that he heat on him. He bank. lost money in the oh, bank. That's right. Oh, I forgot yeah. about yeah. that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, time. Time makes you forget a lot of crappy stuff. Baby wall. Throwing the baby. <laughs> so back to Brian versus The Miz. It has been a spectacular seven year, eight, ten month build. Eight yep. years. Yeah, yeah, eight years in total. Seven year, ten month build. And then we've had two months of uh, 
okay stuff. Yeah, some <laughs> most, of it's been very good. Some of it's this been. week's Smackdown. I, th- I thought the video yeah. stuff was awesome, and I wish they had peppered that throughout the weeks of Smackdown as opposed to just doing it all on the go home show. Yeah, it felt weird that, that you know the whole Miz on set thing. I really didn't buy into on the set of Miz and Miz. Yeah, on and the set of yeah, his life. The, <laughs> the baby throwing stuff. It's like all the. The build has been good, but the angles have been Rubbish. wacky. Yeah, yeah, goofy. totally. Mi- Miz and Mrs. has really hurt the storytelling here. So this match is really going to go, I mean, <coughs> as most matches do, one of two ways. Uh, really? So either <laughs> either Daniel Bryan re-signs and he yeah. is winning this match, or mm-hmm. oh, no, sorry, Daniel Bryan re-signs and Miz wins. Actually, even if Daniel Bryan resign, if Daniel Bryan doesn't Great resign, logic, even if Daniel Bryan doesn't resign, Miz could faultless. still win. It is faultless. This is why you pay me the big bucks. This is why I come in here with my excellent takes. Honestly, Hot take. workings out on yes. the paper. Yes. The more I said it, the more I was like, nope, that doesn't make any sense what? at all. In both what my you scenarios, this hole out of your own in both statements. my scenarios, Miz does win. <laughs> so it could go one of two ways. Miz wins or Miz, Miz wins. wins. Yeah, but Bryan resigns. Well, or he I'm doesn't. thinking Bryan wins here. Because the story mode on 2K19 is based around Brian, a lot of people oh, yes, reckon that yes. is a hint that Brian has resigned already. They're just keeping it quiet. Mm. But if that was the case and Brian had resigned, I would have thought they would build the entire feud about Brian potentially leaving the company. But they haven't. Yeah. Mm. Which I'm doing the same thing as you do now. So Miz wins oh, yeah, again. So, 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 I don't want to over they here. They don't want to feed into that. I guess of the, mm. the, the idea that Brian might leave. They just want to be like, no, he's here for the long haul. Well, they did have that one line when Miz said, "When your contract expires mm, in September." Yeah, if this is going to be a prolonged feud, though, I'd want to see Miz win. They've been advertised for the SmackDown 1000th episode in October, so it looks like this could be a a repeating encounter. In which case, then I think the Miz should win. Through oh. despicable means. Yeah, through yes. despicable means, yeah, because then his whole shtick can be like, I proved that I am better than Daniel Bryan. Okay, yeah. so we're and all going Miz. And then you can do the what we had predicted um, a few weeks ago of the, why should he give him the rematch? I'll put my career on the line at SmackDown 1000. Yeah, that's good. That is, that's good booking. Thanks, man. And Miz wins. And Miz and wins J- again. Yeah. Yeah. Finn Balor versus Bye. Baron Corbin. Now that's the the match that's going to bring everyone down. Why? <laughs> Why is this happening again? Because they had loads of pre-written material for Big Cass versus Daniel Bryan, so they needed uh, another big man, small yeah. man feud to to paste no, it onto. Because they're building to eventually have a Wendy House match. This no, is it's, it. This it's is the uh, first ever WWE Wendy House match. Two men. Inside a went locked inside a children's playhouse. Oh, is it? Would it be full scale like a Hell in a Cell? Oh, that could work. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can't yeah. see anything. Yeah. Just through the windows. Pop out the windows and go, "Hi, mom." <laughs> Wins. Uh, I thought they were building towards flipolution. Mm. Like Baron Corbin keeps on trashing smaller people. Oh right, yeah. yeah, then, yeah then, then they build to flip illusion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no one cares about this. Logic dictates Balor wins. I guess so. I don't care. But I don't really. Yeah, I don't think I care enough to think about it more than that. But the only <laughs> argument would be that Miz wins. Corb, yeah, Miz wins. Daniel Bryan resigns. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the... How does Daniel Bryan resigning <laughs> affect this match? Is that Corbs has got like the stuff with Stephanie McMahon? If that's going to pay off. In in any way, shape, Kurt or form, Angle and Kurt stuff, Angle yeah. stuff. And do you want to push that more than you do Balor? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, I'm just playing There's rumours flying there. around about Balor, like that he's going to start getting his push now because they were testing him out with this whole thing to see if he was durable enough. And now he's sort of proven Against that he Against Baron is. Corbin. Uh, like, what a know. test. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> Can you get good matches out of this lump? Yeah. This Actually, I, I like more just to, I like that, more just to check that he wasn't going to damage his arm again. So... <laughs> So we've had every heel win so far. Yeah. Yes, true. Should we go for Balor? Should we go? Yeah, yeah let's go Balor. Balor. Right. Nakamura versus Jeff Hardy for the United States title. I'm going to put my stake down here and say it's a Nakamura retention through yeah. Randy Orton shenanigans. And that's going Randy to be Orton to... hops on the apron. Shake my hand. His <laughs> wang comes out. <laughs> allegedly. 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 Um, no, in this is Wang can come out. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the first time he's done it. We yeah, don't know. This this is a completely unrelated yeah, idea. This is any <laughs> allegations that are out. There. Out pops the Viper, and <laughs> I think I think it's um, Jeff yeah. Hardy's distracted. Nakamura gets a roll up, mm. and then you do it's Jeff Fifth Hardy. I. You do Jeff Hardy versus Randy Orton at uh, Hell in a Cell inside a Hell in a Cell. Yeah, I'm going for Nack. What do you reckon, Fake? I've already written it down. I think Nack is, <laughs> is fine. I was, I was with Nack anyway. So we're, we're still quite heel heavy at the moment. Mm. 
But like Nakamura is one that everyone likes, and it's the yeah. main show wise. Like you can kind of write off the pre-show results wise, I think. Mm. Mm. And it's not like Jeff Hardy versus Randy Orton needs the title. Yes. No, but in I or. But then it's worth considering the idea that that's not how WWE necessarily thinks. So they might think it needs to be for the title if Randy Orton's going to be this yeah. legend, go back to being sort of a favorite killer, mm. fan favorite killer kind mm-hmm. of. Yeah, fan favorite, handshakes all round. Carmella versus Becky Lynch legend. versus Charlotte Flair for the SmackDown Women's title. Uh, I think this is the time for Carmella to drop it. So oh, she's it definitely yeah, she's out. out. She has to drop the belt at this point. She's got to drop it like it's hard. And I think it's if anyone is going to be Charlotte Flair. Oh, I th- I think you well, can build you, an I interesting think, I think story. It's moment. I just feel D- like is that it. your heart or is that your head? My well, jacket's so on the line, it's Faker. So, door. well, it's difficult because yeah, evolution is coming up, and maybe that's her moment, really. But uh, yes, I, I just feel like it is like the whole build for it. I don't know. I think you can do a Charlotte Flair win here, then she does the return match against Carmella at the next pay per view, and then you build to Charlotte Flair versus Becky at Evolution. With a little heel turn. With a little heel turn in there along the way. So Charlotte as a heel or Becky as a heel? I think Becky... I think Becky I, at this point, the storyline makes sense for Becky to turn heel, but you could go with Charlotte Flair because it's not like logic is um, the most important thing uh, in terms of storytelling. But I, I just feel like this is a Charlotte Flair thing. It just, for Becky's character, it makes sense for Charlotte to win at this point as well. Mm. That it was meant to be a one-on-one match and Charlotte got put in there. And the whole storyline has been around like, mm. Becky, you you can't win this now because Charlotte Flair's in the match. So it makes sense then for Charlotte to win. But then on this week, you know, so that that whole thing was to set up in the, in the chat at the beginning of SmackDown this week. And then in the match itself, Becky looked like she was going to go down and then didn't bother getting a hot tag at all. Yeah. Just went, I'll just be hot myself. But you do that. And I'll win. You do so, that on the you do that on the go home hot. show. Yeah. You do that on the go home show, so then you can do the swerve at the pay per view and have Charlotte Charlotte win. So you're saying Becky, you're saying, no, I'm so saying, you're I'm saying Charlotte, Charlotte, you're saying, I'm Becky. saying Becky. Yeah. Oh mate, it comes down to you. 50 50. This could well, go I'm one of two Carmella. ways. Uh, God damn it. Uh and we're basing this on the assumption that Daniel Bryan resigns. Well, yeah, I mean, okay. as I said, it could changes, go one of two ways, everything. yeah. I'm going to say Becky. Oh, I'm going to say Becky. You yeah, guys, majority. Yes, you guys. Dolph Ziggler with Drew McIntyre in his corner versus Seth Rollins with Dean Ambrose in his corner for the IC title. Looking forward to this match. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I, I'm not looking forward. I'm Brian and the Miz, I am. But, uh... There's not much that I'm desperate to see on this pay-per-view. Up until you get to the last three matches, yeah. was, I'd have thought. Well, yeah. last two. Like, I'm, I'm, Styles I'm, I'm and into, Joe hasn't yeah. done much to get me excited. No, no, really. but still, you know it's going to be a good match. Though. Mm. Well, we said that at WrestleMania. Yeah, you don't. Sometimes, yeah. They like, just doesn't gel. Yeah. yeah but well, we, no, know, but we, we know, know Styles and, two definitely yeah. do gel. Mm. Like, really but, well. so, but so did Styles and Nakamura, and then we still mm. got that match at WrestleMania. Yeah. yeah. I think they probably knew that they were building for something yeah. much longer. Well, I, mean, they only I, had about, I anyway, feel like that was a week's worth of setup for the WrestleMania. We need to focus on this match here. And we I suppose the wild card in this is Dean Ambrose uh, and the, the Dean Ambrose return is he turning heel here mm. to screw Seth out of the title Dean Codliver Ambrose yeah, yeah well, he's a hell of a diet yeah, yeah, yeah it really is what happens when you cut your hair mm. uh, so I yeah I think the long term plan has always been for Dean Ambrose to turn heel that yep. was what they reported back in January before he was injured that Dean was going to turn on Seth somehow mm-hmm. and I think that would give Seth a really good storyline Without like a blood feud, without the title. Yeah. So yeah, I would. I I'll go for a Dolph, a Dolph victory with some kind of shenanigans where Drew is sent to the back maybe, and Dean looks like he's going to help Seth, but then yeah, uh, hits I him. I agree. Yeah. Um. The question is though, where do you go with Ziggler from there? Uh, Kevin Owens. Well, yeah, Kevin Owens isn't uh, a face, is he? Um. Yeah. What other mid card baby faces? Bobby Roode. He's in a feud mm. with Mojo Rawley. He's busy, mate. Uh, after so SummerSlam, busy. you can get NXT call-ups. So oh, that's true, maybe, yeah. Maybe someone will pop up from there. Mm. Yeah. A Velveteen Dream. Mm. Yeah. So we're all going for Ziggler. I, think I mean, you could also just implode Ziggler and McIntyre and have that yeah. be oh, yeah. feud. Yeah. That'd be good, yeah. Uh, Braun Strowman versus Kevin Owens. Speaking of Owens, for the Money in the Bank beefcase. It is indeed. And uh, Braun Strowman can lose on anything, essentially. A DQ, count out. He can only win by pin. Yeah, mm. being rude to the ref, <laughs> lose. I'm I think there's the so there's count. there's so much set up for this. Of like, how long was the title card that comes up to be like, 
<laughs> the Money in the Bank match. Braun Strowman versus Kevin Owens. And if Braun does anything <laughs> wrong, he can lose the Money in the Bank briefcase to Kevin Owens. It's such a long stipulation. I feel like it's got to be Owens. Like... It's like the War Games mm. bits before that where they spend five minutes going through all the rules and then yeah. it goes to the next graphic page yeah. and here's some more rules. We need is Mike Tanego and like, it's really quite simple. Yeah, <laughs> no, but just sit down for a minute and pay attention. <laughs> uh, I, I think Kevin Owens with the briefcase has so much more potential as a character. Mm. Braun never needed the briefcase. Absolutely not. Uh, I, I, I actually could go with Owens here. I could, I could really put a stake in it. Yeah, to say that Owens gets the I win. I think it, it, you, need to, you need to think about it like, is there going to be a cash-in as well yeah. later on? And you could almost do it with Owens winning with uh, through Corbin shenanigans. Yes. Uh, and then you kind of set up this whole Stephanie McMahon, Kevin Owens, We're Baron booking a lot of heels here. And it is a babyface company at the end of the day. <laughs> Should we go for Owens, though? I think so. I think it's Owens. Yeah, yeah, okay. Kevin Owens. I think it's... It, Live on stage it, punishment. It's, Let's it's just keep the, that in yeah. the back of our but minds. But it is so set up. It is so <laughs> set up to... The whole stipulation is set up to protect Braun from a yeah. proper loss. Yeah. And then you can also hoof the briefcase off to someone else. I saw someone make a really good suggestion that Jinder runs down and just punches Owens because then that gets Braun, and that <laughs> gets, that, that gets Braun DQ'd. Oh, yeah. that's really good, yeah. I mean, that would be really frustrating. It's not like they're going to have a long match. Or Sami anyway. Zayn runs in and just does something and then oh, disappears. Sammy's no, not back until no, January. Back, he's yeah. just in yeah. surgery. Uh, Bludgeon Brothers versus the New Day for the SmackDown tag titles. I think it's going to be a New Day win. I think so too. Yeah. Because, yeah, what well, they... How did it all play out over WrestleMania? Was it the Usos who dropped the belts or the New Day? I can't remember. Um, it was like a three-way feud. Yeah, it was. Mm. Um, I think the Usos were the tag yeah. team champions, but I don't want to say... I wouldn't put my mortgage on it. Yeah, I, I'm, I I'm thinking New Day win here. I think it's New They day. haven't had the belts for a while, it feels. And the Bludgeon Brothers haven't really done anything with them since we <coughs> think. No. Because there's only so much you can do with them as characters because you've yeah. built them as these unstoppable monsters. Well, the, the fact that the so tag over. team champions are coming out and still fighting jobbers. And it's just like, <laughs> yeah. well, you'd be like, no, I yeah. don't want to. There's no point. <laughs> uh, yeah, New Day are so popular. They yeah, feel like they're getting more popular in the last couple of weeks. Like mm. their, their crowd reactions have been insane. Unless we're going to get that biggie heel turn that everyone's been talking about. No, no I don't think so. Don't think uh, so. Plus, that's a babyface team. Yeah. Nicely breaks up what we're talking about. AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe for the WWE Championship. I mean, I could go for a baby face here and say that Styles is winning. Yeah, yeah, because of the two K nineteen cover star. Well, that and I can't see Samoa that, Joe yeah. winning at this point. Mm. It's not no. like they've really built Joe to be like, oh, he could win the belt. Mm. It's no, like he Rusev just came out of nowhere, didn't yeah. he? Like, it's like yeah. Rusev last month. No one bought into Rusev winning, and I don't think anyone's going to buy into Joe winning either. These are all just placeholder. You yeah, need to have the match on the which card. is maddening when you yeah. think about it. That this is AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe is a placeholder feud at yeah. SummerSlam. At SummerSlam, yeah. that right? should be the Colmax. The Colmax. <laughs> Colmax! <laughs> Is that a cough medicine? Yeah, yeah. Colmax. Uh, of, of their epic feud starting after WrestleMania. Mm. Yeah, but no, here we are. Placeholder nonsense, mm. reading letters. Did anyone it's else a get... bad go-home shot. I didn't get to talk about it on the SmackDown Wrestle Ramble. No, but, but we talked about it on the SmackDown Wrestle Ramble. Yeah. I got proper Claire Lynch vibes Yeah, from that letter. Really bad. But anyway, I think Styles is winning. What about you, Fakey? I, yeah, I think it's going to be Styles. Yeah. I just don't think there's there's been no bit like all the build on SmackDown has actually been for the Miz and Brian, and I think that potentially could be higher in the card than than this match. Even though Paige was saying this week, this is my main event. Yeah, you think this might open the show? No, not open. No, the not show, open no. the show. But I just I just think it could even be earlier in the yeah, card than yeah. Miz and Brian. Yeah, your uh, your twentieth hour main event <laughs> as opposed to the forty eighth hour main yes, event. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Alexa Bliss versus Ronda Rousey for the Raw Women's Championship. I mean, I've I've said my predictions on this previously. I think Bliss is winning here, and, uh. you, do, and you get you do the Ronda Rousey title win at Evolution. But how do yes. you protect Rousey in this? Alicia Fox, Alicia. Yeah, not Natalia a... turning. If she's there at the show, then yeah, like if she makes her return back to uh, from her uh, very sad time home, mm -hmm. whether she does return to work, then yeah, you could have the Natalia heel turn because then you can have the Natalia Rousey Rousey program at Hell in a Cell. And then do Rousey Bliss at Yeah, it's uh, a evolution. nice structure. To yeah. It. Well, that's the thing is because the other, well, the other, because the, the other teased match, I guess, for Evolution is the the 
four horsewomen versus four horsewomen, and that could, you know, mm -hmm. so that might change things here as well. Yeah, and as, which because Shayna Baszler would theoretically be defending the NXT Women's Championship unless Kyrie Sane wins it and um, take over. Which I don't think is going to happen. Which I don't think is going to happen either. Unless they do a Rousey Champion of Raw versus Charlotte Champion of SmackDown match at Evolution. But they've already announced that the titles are being defended. I mean, it's like a card subject uh. to change, I suppose. But yeah, they, they did announce that this, their title's being defended. Well, they could WWE do, do night, stick to so, their plans. You know. uh, <laughs> well, so you're both thinking Bliss. I'm, I'm thinking Bliss. I think they want to hold off on the Rousey win for as long as possible, just like they did with Stone Cold. They kept yeah. saying in uh, all the, those Wrestling Observer reports that they see Rousey as the new Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, I think it needs to be. It's either going to be an Evolution or a WrestleMania moment. I th it's not uh, yeah. going to be some. It's not going to be SummerSlam. Yeah. It's not going to be now. And I think Evolution makes the most sense because it's the one where they're going to have a lot of PR. It's their all women's pay per view, exactly. and you have the big title win. Yeah. The all this is the main event. Yeah, yeah the, the main pop. event. Yeah, you do the little shower of the confetti stuff. All the other girls come Rousey down smiles. and like lift her up and all that stuff. Even yeah. people she's been feuding with. Yeah, Alicia yeah. Fox is there. Yeah, yeah. all just breaks everyone. Yeah. Uh, so Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns for the Universal title, very likely the main event. Yeah. So cool. it's been a heel heavy show of predictions for us, although we balanced it out near the end there. And who is more babyface than Roman Reigns to finally win the title? Everyone. I mean, I, 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 is that what you're thinking? Are you thinking it's a Reigns win here? <sighs> I think it's a Reigns win. Whatever happens after that. I don't like. I we don't have to predict whether Reigns is still the champion by the time the show ends. True. Does it? But does the match even have to finish before someone it, can cash well, in? Well, it, it, it became a three-way. Yeah, it didn't at WrestleMania 31. Yeah. That was it. Seth turned it into a three-way. Yes. Yeah. So I think that yeah, because that's the potential here is that we're going to have a rehash of someone cashing in on Roman as he's about to win the title from Brock again. I think they would do it as, um, I think it was Survivor Series a couple of years ago, where or TLC or something like that, when Sheamus cashed in on him just after he won the belts. I think, they'd be more, I think they would do it that way as opposed mm. to doing the, the WrestleMania 31 repeat. But either way, I would be surprised if Roman leaves this pay-per-view as champion. Mm. But I do think he's going to leave this match as champion. But at the same time, just as I say this, I can hear my wife in the back of my head going like, I mean, you know Brock's winning, yeah? And every time she said that, she's always been right. Has she said that this time? We haven't talked about it this Ring time. Ring her now. No. <laughs> Ring her now. Ring her now. We need to wife, know. Wife, is Brock going to win? So Lesnar's definitely, name, uh, <laughs> Lesnar's definitely in UFC shape as opposed to wrestling shape, which is just weird when that's happened. So so I think he's leaving this time. You think he... <coughs> oh, and... Um, and the other side, I've said this before as well, Roman losing again would just mm. kill any more potential yeah. that he could have. Like, yeah. he's he's labelled as a loser as as much as he can be anyway, because he lost at WrestleMania and he lost at the greatest Royal Rumble, despite mm. the way you spin that. And just losing again would be a proper nail in the coffin. Yeah. Uh, Unless so, they're doing the whole break him all the way down and then build him all the way back up, send him off down the card for a bit, and then slowly over time build him back up. But then run so. no. Yeah, no. It, no, it, we, it needs I to be a heel turn to freshen him up no, and no, unfortunately what... they've scuppered that because that was one of the more intriguing elements going into this match but Paul Heyman was like <laughs> oh, funny, no, funny spray did you not read the comments on that review though it's a double double cross Ah, uh, yeah, that's even more contrived yes. than the first plan that Paul Heyman came up with. So I think what a lot of people are arguing is that Heyman has made a plan with Brock. That was all a ruse. But he's also made a plan with Roman to fool Lesnar. What? And that's the double-double cross. And a lot of people are suggesting that the letter that he gave him says on it, uh, Brock's going to attack you, but he has to in order for the ruse to play out. But if that was the case, and they are in cahoots... They can just text each other <laughs> before that happens quite subtly. No, everyone on WWE sends each other letters. This is <laughs> right. this is what happens. <laughs> yeah, all physical. Like, you, there's yeah. no e. Do you know how hard contracts. it is to get signal in an arena? Like, impossible. They've <laughs> got know, a whole messenger a service. You say that Extreme Rules did very well when they all just started watching the match on the network, so they yeah. could count down with the yeah. clock. Why is Kurt Angle on the phone all the time? Then <laughs> he's not there's on. No one there. <laughs> he's listening to voicemail. Stephanie. <laughs> He's always he's always walking around looking for signals. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Uh, so are we? Go let's all say Roman Reigns. I think that's quite. I, yeah, I think it has to be Roman. Winning this match, I think it has to be Roman by heel turn, by being crowned the new champion or whatever it is. Because I do think Brock's leaving, and then someone might cash in on him. 
yeah, I, I, my main prediction I've always, I, I'm going with, to kind of said like a couple of months ago, was that Roman Reigns is going to win here, whether it be Braun, whether it be Owens cash in on him, and then you build that match to where he can finally be coronated at WrestleMania and he can mm. conquer. That's why I think it, I mean, I, I know we said Kevin Owens earlier, but Braun was the one that made sense because it's a Braun monster and it's another monster for him to beat. Yeah. And this whole Braun yeah. experiment was just to get Roman over. Owens and Reigns have been advertised for matches coming up yeah but yeah. card subject to change of you course. never know so that's all we've got time for for our SummerSlam predictions let's uh let's all put our fists in shield style take that cultaholic and weird. click the videos keep them there click the videos that have just appeared on our laps to catch up with the latest wrestle talk stuff and this button that's just appeared over fagador's face uh, <laughs> to to subscribe to the podcast and then this is the hazy th- then about. the uh <laughs> then the shake my hand then the <laughs> fist beneath that that the will fist beneath that. The, the picture on our fists that will uh make you a patreon <laughs> can we stop now? i'm confused i've been ollie davis this has been luke owen that was fake and that was some predictions